In this lecture, we're going to see how to encode and decode instructions. So the very first thing we want is our manual pulled up so that we understand how to encode and decode instructions. So this is architecture specific. So we want to see what these instructions encode. And what they've done is the designer of the chip, MIPS in this case, has decided this certain opcode will map to this certain set of functions. And so that's what we're going to look at today. So as you can see on your screen, I've pulled up the MIPS Architecture for Programmers Manuals, Volume 2A. And essentially what we're going to do is whenever we're given a assembly instruction to encode, let's go ahead and just create an example such as SLL, let's just say A0, T0, and then finally we'll just say 3. Okay. So hopefully everybody remembers that says A0 is equal to whatever the value of T0 is. We're going to left shift that logically by three places. So this is essentially the assembly instruction that we want. So as you can see, the parameters that we're going to need to convert into numbers are three. So that's going to be after, to be converted into binary. T0, we have to look at whatever number T0 is. And A0, we're going to have to look at that number as well. But the very first thing we want to do is actually take a look at the encoding of the shift left logical instruction. To do that, what we're going to do is look in the table of contents and find shift left logic. So notice that it's in alphabetical order, so that makes it a very easy find. And we see SLL right here. And we click it, and we have shift left logical. So shift word left logical, that's essentially what we're looking at here. So we can see that it uses a little bit of different terms here, RD, RT, and SA. So RT is here, RD is here, and SA is here. Notice that each one of those is five bits. So we double check the description to make sure that's exactly what we want it to do. So in this case, we can see that RT is actually T0. So this right here is gonna be T0. RD is A0, and SA stands for shift amount is going to be the value three. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to convert the A0, the T0 into their associative, uh, the associated numbers for those registers. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to look in the quick reference document right here. Okay. So if we take a look at the quick reference document, we go to the second page and we can see all the registers here on the upper left. So we can see A0 is actually the value 4, T0 is actually the value 8. And so what we're going to do is we're going to convert these into their register numbers. So remember, the very first thing we do is pull up volume 2A. And then to get the register numbers, we actually look at the quick reference sheet. Now we can go through the manual to find the register numbers, but it's much easier to go to page 2 of that sheet and find it. Okay, so A0 once again is the value 4. Notice that each one of these is 5 bits. So we're going to have to use 5 bits to actually describe this. So we're going to go 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So that's 5 bits, and that's the value 4. T0 is going to be the value 8 using 5 bits, and so it looks like this. So if you don't remember, this is your 1's place, 2's place, 4's place. This is your 1's place, 2's place, 4's place, 8's place. Okay? So now that we've converted those into numbers, everything that we already have has been given to us. So the first 6 bits are going to be all zeros. The next 5 bits are going to be all zeros. RT, which as we can see here is T0, is going to be the value 01000. RD, which stands for destination register, is A0, which is the value 00100, so that's the value 4. And the shift amount is going to be 3, so using 3, using 5 bits, is going to be 00011. So that's the value 3. So in this case, we go 00011. And then finally, as you can see, the last 6 bits also need to be 0. So whenever we put all these together, we see the first six bits are going to be zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can see the next five bits are going to be zeros. One, two, three, four, five. RT is going to be zero, one, zero, zero, zero. RD is zero, zero, one, zero, zero. The shift amount is zero, 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 one, one. And then the last six bits are all zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So every single instruction that you're going to be encoding encodes into 32 bits. MIPS uses 32 bits for all of its instruction lengths, so it's going to look something like this. Now generally, if you wanted to leave it in binary, that's what it's going to look like. So that instruction right there is what is going to be read. That's a word. It's going to be read by the CPU, and it's going to be decoded as a shift left logical. The destination register in this case is going to be A0. The RT, which is the source register, is going to be T0, which is the value 8. And the shift amount is going to be the value 3. So a lot of times I would want you to put this into hex. And so to do that, we have to chunk this off into fours. So there's four right there. There's four right there, zero, 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 zero. There's four right there, four right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, and then the rest four, okay? And then what we do is we take those four bits and then convert them into the associated hex. So zero, zero, zero is zero, 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 zero is zero, zero, this is the value eight, this is the value two, zero, 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 zero is zero, one, one, so that is 12, so that's the value C and zero. So whenever we do a shift left logical A0 to T03, to instruct it, we're going to use the hexadecimal number 00000820C0. So that's how you encode. So to recap on that, the very first thing you're going to do is get into the manual volume 2A. So that's the MIPS architecture manual for programmers. Then what you're going to do is look in the table of contents for the instruction that you're looking for. Now remember, in this case, these are actual instructions that have an opcode. So if you're looking at a pseudo instruction and can't find it, or if you're looking at an instruction and can't find it in the table of contents, it's probably a pseudo instruction one of those instructions that the assembler is going to expand for you. And so that is essentially how you're going to encode these instructions. Step two, get in the quick reference sheet, number two, the page two, and in there you'll see in the upper left-hand corner all of your registers. Because all the registers have to be in numbers. A0 is not a number, so you have to convert that into the numbers so you can encode it using five bits. The next thing you're gonna do is get back into the manual, find the instruction that you're looking for, and fill in the fields that do not have a number. Notice that in shift left logical, the fields that had a number, we just put those in directly. The fields without a number, we actually had to figure out and put in the values. Now notice that a lot of times, these aren't in the order that you'd expect. Because from left to right, RD shows up first, then RT. However, in the instruction, RT shows up first, followed by RD. So you always look at the format and the description to make sure that all of your fields are in the correct order. And that's how you encode instructions in MIPS. Thanks for watching.